Okay, for this video, we're going to go ahead and do problem 6.3b, and it says uh, sketch the Bode plot, and so uh, the transfer function L is 100 over KS 0.1 S plus 1 over 0.5 S plus 1. Okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to break this up into three separate transfer functions. So first I'm going to put the 100 out here and leave it off to the side. And then I'm going to do 1 over s, and then I'm going to do 1 over 0.1s plus 1, and then I'm going to do 1 over 0.5s plus 1. And the reason why I did this is because if you look at these three plots, each one of these is basically in the, in the same form. I'm going to call this g1, this g2, and just g3, and I'm going to call this k. Okay. Let's look at G3 first because that is uh, pretty similar to the last video that I posted. So in this case, tau is zero. So for G3, tau is 0 0.5, which means our cutoff frequency is 1 over 0 0.5, so that's 2. Okay? Um, it's a first order system, so it means if I draw um, magnitude and phase, and I draw uh, frequency on this axis, my magnitude is going to be my DC gain is 1 over 1 over 1 so my magnitude is 1 and it's going to come this way and then this is going to be 1 2 at 2 it's going to drop down and it's going to go down at minus 20 dB for decade um, my phase is going to be 0 at 2 it's going to be minus 45 and that's going to come down here like that and I have an asymptote at minus 90 okay I'm going to do that one in black in red, I'm going to do uh, G2. So I'm going to do the same thing. So tau is 0.1, so it means my cutoff frequency is 10. And I think that's it. So I need to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 out here. So this, if you look at the DC gain of this one, it's also 1. So it means it's just going to be like this all the way out. And then at 10, it's going to be minus 3 dB, and it's going to go down at 20 dB for a decade. Okay? My phase is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then at 10, it's going to be minus 45, and then it's going to come down to minus 90, like that. Okay? Um, I think the book purposely picked two different frequencies that were pretty significantly far away, so you wouldn't necessarily mess this up. Okay? All right, um, then you um, have to do G1, right? So G1 is interesting. If you look at G1, it's 1 over S. In the complex domain, it's 1 over omega J. And then uh, G star G square root is just 1 over omega squared. And so if you look at that, there is no cutoff frequency. Is it 1 over omega squared or 1 over omega? It's square root of 1 over negative omega j, 1 over omega j. Yeah, it's just 1 over omega. Um, so as omega gets bigger, it's just going to get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Now, if you look at this, if you plot omega on a linear scale, it's going to look like this, right? But if you plot omega on a log scale, which is what uh, Python and MATLAB do, you actually get a line. And so it means that your DC gain is infinite, so you can't, you can't actually start these plots out to the left, it's infinite. Um, and it also means that, but it, it does mean that as you go off to infinity, it's just going to go down to zero, and since it's first order, it's going to have the same slope as these, and so it really just means that you kind of just, you know, draw a line, right? It's, it's minus 20 dB per decade everywhere. Um, it's got an infinite gain at zero, and then it's got a, a zero gain at infinity, okay? Um, the phase is what? Well, it's, um, it's the phase of the numerator minus the phase of the denominator, and the phase of one is zero, and the phase of the denominator, well, Sorry, that's omega j. 
what's the phase of a complex number? It's always 90, so that means it's minus 90. So that means this one is always minus 90, okay? So now you just need to uh, multiply the phases together um, and, then, and then add and add the phases together. Now, if you convert the magnitudes to dB, it will, you can just add them together, which is a lot easier to do, and you still need to do that gain there. So what I would do is I would redraw this in dB and call this zero dB, and then that way you can just add everything together. And then, and then that way all of these slopes are minus 20 dB per decade. And then you do have to take into account this k here, but that's just going to give you 20 log 10 of 100. And what, that's uh, what, 200? 10 to, the, 10 to the 1? 10 to the 2? So it's 40. So it's a 40 dB. 10 squared is 100. 2 times 20 is 40. So it means that your your plot is going to at 0 and your, your DC oh see, here's the thing, your DC gain is going to be 40 if you didn't have this 1 over S here, but that 1 over S blows it up to infinity so if, if I were you, I would draw a 40 dB and I would just draw like, you know over here, right? And then basically what happens is, is when you hit this cutoff frequency you're going to start to decline at minus... So here, you're actually going to be at minus 20 dB per decade. What, and then when you get to your cutoff frequency of your first plot, you're going to start coming this way. So now you're at minus 40 dB per decade. You're going to keep coming down, keep coming down, keep coming down at minus 40. And then when you hit this cutoff frequency, you're going to go even lower. And now you're going to be at minus 60 dB uh, per decade. Okay, so you start at minus 20 you hit your first cutoff frequency and you go to minus 40 and then you hit your second cutoff frequency and you go to minus 60, okay? Now let's look at the phase. Well, you just add the phases together. So you've got 0, 0, minus 90, so you start here. So you're going to keep going along, you're going to hit your first cutoff frequency and you're going to be at minus, minus uh, 180, right? And then you're going to keep coming along, keep coming along until you get to here and then you're going to get another minus 90 and that's going to push you at minus 270, okay? And so the orange there is your Bode plot. You've got an infinite DC gain because of this guy. Your 100 scales it up by 40 dB. Um, you're at minus 20 dB at the beginning because of your 1 over S. When you hit your cutoff frequency at 2, you go to minus 40 dB per decade. And then when you hit your cutoff frequency of 10, you, go, you end up going even harder kink and you go to minus 60 dB per decade. Um, you've got three first order systems, so 90 times three is 270, so you know that your phase is gonna end up at 270. And then, so you're gonna go at minus 90, after the first cutoff frequency, you're gonna get down to minus 180, and then after the second cutoff frequency, you're gonna get to minus 270, okay? So that's how you draw by hand. Um, I'm gonna post a video after this and show you how to do it in Python. Cool, happy coding, and have a good night.